Good morning, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So it looks like the stimulus package has been signed by the president. The whole thing was held up on account of the $600 stimulus check. Well, of course, they talked about a bunch of other things as far as the pork and different things that are in it. But the whole thing was media covered as far as um, being held up on account of that $600 stimulus check needing to be $2,000. At least that's what the president was requiring of it. So the thing has been signed, $600 stimulus check remained for the people. The Senate will go to vote on a $2,000 check later, whether or not to increase it to $2,000. So we're gonna find out about that later. I was reading an article on it from CNBC and the very last quote given by Pelosi, and I'll leave a link down in the description, said something about this is a down payment to crush this virus. And I thought, mm. Isn't that interesting, the wording that she just used? A down payment. Meaning there's many more payments to come. This is just a down. So I thought about that, and I thought about some of the things that the Federal Reserve has been doing, some of the things about digital currencies that are coming into play, and all the talk about how the dollar is going to get crushed and go away through you know devaluation. I put this all into perspective when I think about what the Federal Reserve has already stated. You know, there is plenty of documents, there's plenty of language out there where they know that they were going to run into this lower bound. They knew that interest rates were going to hit zero. They knew that there was going to be fiscal stimulus. They knew this time was coming. This is not a surprise to them. The only people it's surprised to is people who did not see this coming. So in the future, we are going to have a digital currency. They are going to go cashless. They have to. And when they do, they are going to take everybody and they're going to go put it onto a digital platform. And they're going to start issuing out stimulus checks. And those stimulus checks are going to come in the form of direct payments into digital wallets. This is just the preliminary. $600 stimulus check is not going to benefit the people much. I mean, you know, is it going to make their week a little better? Sure. It might make their week a little better. But it's not going to do anything for them on a grand scale. It's not going to pull them out of the depths. See, in the future, we are going to have continual slowdowns in the economy and they will have to do ever increasing amounts of injections of money into the system. And you can already see it taking place. You can see it in the lingo. And when Nancy Pelosi says this is a down payment, it doesn't surprise me because I foresee a lot more payments coming in the future. See, they've already got it in play. They know how they're going to do it. They're going to issue out digital currency, or they're going to issue out digital wallets to everybody. They're going to have digital currencies. You're going to be able to use that currency as if it was regular old folding currency, dollars, anything else, like your bank account, your debit cards. Most people probably won't even notice the change. And then what the Federal Reserve is going to do is they're going to set up these special bonds. And if GDP goes to a certain level or unemployment you know, reaches a certain level, these bonds will kick into gear. And the Fed will go buy these things. And instead of giving the money to the Treasury, it'll go directly to those digital wallets. This is how the system is going to go down. How long this takes, how long it plays out, I have no idea. But there will come a time when there will be direct injections of money into the system. And people are going to scream about it, how it's this grand thing. And they're going to have all these, uh, you know, morally beneficial to society excuses and stuff like that. But that's not what it's all about. It's all about keeping the system going. You know, it's it's amazing when you when you look at things from afar, like... 
you know, a lot of people are like, I, I was called a shill the other day because I said I'm into silver, you know, but I'm also into cash. And I am also own stocks and I own cryptocurrencies. I don't own real estate. I got burned on real estate too many times to, to be involved. I just pulled myself out of being in debt because of the real estate deals that I failed on. I'm not a shill. I mean, you know, go do what you want. I'm not an investor. I have no idea what I am doing with my money. I mean, I just know that being out of debt is the most important thing to me. And, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning how to invest. I'm learning where to invest. I'm learning those things right now. I really should be talking to more financial advisors, but, you know, I look at the economy and I try and think of what is undervalued, unappreciated, and undesired that's valuable. And I see it in silver. I don't see it anywhere else. Everything else looks really expensive. This, uh, this stimulus check, this $600 stimulus check, I wonder what people do with it. You know, I heard one time somebody says, I spent mine on my taxes. Well, that meant you saved it. Okay, because you were going to spend money on your taxes anyway. So if you took the stimulus check and you spent it on taxes, that meant you saved the money. See, if you spent it on taxes and then went out and bought a TV, then you spent your money on, you know, on a TV. Because taxes are something you're going to pay anyway. Spending money, stimulus, is when you spend money that you wouldn't have. A lot of people will save that money. And a lot of people will blow it. And some people might do something smart with it. Is what I'm guessing. Anyway, I should probably go back into work. Sorry I kind of rambled there a little bit, guys. I kind of lost my train of thought there a little bit, just kind of gazing out there at the river. So, you know, it's really nice having, because, you know, it, it's funny. I haven't done a river view in a while, but people tell me how appreciative they are to have that view. And, you know, I think about that a lot because I stare off at out at the river. You guys can't see it right now because there's nothing but a bunch of bushes in front of me, but... I can kind of see the ships right over the top of them. And, you know, having a nice atmosphere to live in is probably one of the most appreciative things that I have. I love the area I live in. I love the people in this town. And, you know, I couldn't ask for another place to live. This is it. This is where I like to live. And, uh, anyway... Good morning, everybody. Uneducated economist, you let me know.